Medicare Part B is the second component of traditional Medicare. Like Part A, it's funded and administered by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, though enrollees must also pay a monthly premium for this coverage. Now, Part B is frequently called Medicare Medical Insurance, and it covers a wide range of outpatient services. These services may be delivered at doctor's offices, post-acute care settings, dialysis facilities, even patients' homes. So Part B may be seen as an outpatient catch-all, but it's most commonly thought of as how CMS reimburses doctors and other clinicians. Now, like Part A, providers billing Part B have traditionally been paid on a fee-for-service basis. This means that the more services they deliver, the more money they receive. And also like Part A, Part B payment is tied to specific codes for patient diagnoses. The dollar amount associated with each of these codes is outlined in a fee schedule that's updated once a year. Historically, Part B has made up a smaller portion of providers' overall revenue, but that's changing. The recent push from both payers and patients to have more care delivered in the outpatient setting is shifting that calculus. As a result, we see a new spotlight and attention being paid on Part B revenue. But the biggest change to Part B reimbursement has been with the passage of the Medicare Access and CHIP Reauthorization Act, or MACRA. As a result of this law, clinicians billing Part B are now subject to two new challenges. First, instead of simply being paid for any service they deliver, their payment will be based on how well they perform across cost and quality benchmarks. And second, Part B providers must meet new reporting mandates that often require costly human and capital resource investments. So similar to the shift we're seeing with Part A reimbursement, CMS is looking long and hard at their spending, and in trying to bend the cost curve, they're asking providers to do more with less. So expect to see a renewed focus on reducing cost and quality variation in the outpatient setting. For example, providers may take a close look at their spending on outpatient supplies and services, while also looking for ways to engage Medicare enrollees in taking better care of their health on an ongoing basis.